when you speak, you can take your I'll give you a written All right, I'll give you a brief remarks. No more than 25 minutes. Good afternoon, everybody. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you back to Music in the Atrium at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, and we are so pleased to be back here performing live and bringing live music back to the Cancer Center after almost two years. We've been really grateful that everyone has joined us virtually this past year and a half, and we are continuing to live stream our concerts, so we welcome our live stream audience who's joining us on YouTube. And before we get going, I'd like to introduce Tobis Fyro, who's going to say a few words about the program and welcome you back. Thank you, Andrew. And there are no words that I can use to express appreciation to you, Andrew, for what you have done in all these months of lockdown. You have managed to get the best musicians, provide so many people from across the world have friends in Belgium, friends in Saskatchewan, that he has relatives in California that tune in to watch this program. And it lifts us up. It gives us hope that this day today would come where we could return to the place that means so much to all of us. And you have helped make that dream come true. I couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited to come back to a place that means so much to all of us. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for what you do. And may you continue to help the people who come here, the staff who work here. It means so much to all of us. So God bless and thank you. Thank you so much, Toba. That means so much to me, and of course, none of this is possible without you, the Toba and Solomon Spiral Family Foundation, who's made this program happen for uh, almost 26 years at this point. So Toba, thank you uh, for having the vision to continue it through COVID as well, and for supporting us for all these years, and now that we're back here. So we're so pleased. Um, I can't thank you enough. So today's performers have joined us before, and they are wonderful father-daughter guitar and fiddle duo. So please put your hands together and welcome Elena and Lee Twine.
Thank you. Um, those are three Irish slip cakes. Um, the first two, first one is called Elizabeth Kelly's Delight, and the second one is called Gusty's Frolics, and they're probably from the late 19th century. If you uh, learned them from uh, the Irish uh, fiddler named John Lee. And the third one is actually a modern film written maybe 10 years ago by Macaroni, and it's called Land's End. Most, we play Irish, Scottish, and Cape Breton um, music. Uh, Cape Breton music is actually old Scottish Highland music uh, from the 1700s. Um, and it's a little bit different than what's going on in Scotland right now. Um, also, most of the tunes we do um, are from the 18th, 19th, and early 20th century. Although, if it sounds like they're, if it's new and it sounds like it's from then, we do that too. So, the next one is... Thank you. We're really excited to be back today. It's really wonderful to be back playing live for everyone here um, at Music in the Atrium. So, what we're going to continue with is a set of three old Scottish reels. Uh, the first one is called Miss Stuart Stenton's Reel, and it was published in a book in 1789. And then we're going to go into a tune called Major Malls, and then a tune called Miss Bartlett's. And everything we're playing today is a dance tune. So dance.
Thank you. Um, um, these are, we're going to do two moderators. Um, first one is by a Cape Breton fiddler by the name of uh, Jennifer Rowland, and it's called The Breton Dafferson Dancers. And the second one is by a Scottish fiddler and composer by the name of Adam Sutherland, and it's called Trip to the Market, but it sort of has the feel of the old uh, Scottish style.
In the 17 and 1800s in Scotland, there were a lot of composers who wrote Scottish traditional music, but they also wrote classical music as well. Um, Gavogs and other tunes sort of in the classical style. So we're going to play a tune. Uh, it's called uh, Lady Catherine Pelham's Real. And it's, we love it because it sounds very Baroque to us in style. Uh, and it was written by one of my favorite composers, uh, Robert McIntosh. sound totally different. Um, um, we're actually going to play some French Canadian tunes. Um, when the Irish came in the middle 1800s, a lot of them came to Quebec and they, and they settled there and they brought their, their music and it mixed with um, both uh, Quebec law music and Acadian music in New Brunswick. Uh, so we're going to do two tunes. Um, the first one is called Real Beatrice, and it actually uh, it was sort of written in the 1930s. Um, part of the reason I say sort of written is it actually started life as an Italian piece of music. It was an Italian polka. A French Canadian fiddler got his hands on it, sort of twisted it around and added a couple of parts to it and it became real Beatrice. And the second tune is an Acadian tune from New Brunswick called uh, The Mouth of the Tobique. The, the Tobique is one of the large rivers in New Brunswick. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, we're going to do a set now of uh, 18th century, sort of Baroque tunes. Um, uh, I'll explain part of it and I'll explain the rest. Uh, Edinburgh was considered the, cultural ca the second cultural capital of Europe in, in the late 1700s after Paris. So there was a lot going on with music and writing and, and painting and, and everything. So um, these uh, tunes are from that time period. The first tune was composed by one of the most well-known uh, Scottish fiddlers and composers from that time period, uh, Neil Gow, and the second two tunes were composed by Robert Mackintosh. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to continue with two more modern tunes. The first one is a modern Irish slip jig uh, called Soggies, and the second one is written by a Scottish fiddler named Mike Bass, and the tune is called The Cavers of Kirkwood Bray. And for the music people here wondering why we're calling them slip jigs and not jigs, um, the jig is in 6 8 and uh, uh, a slip jig is in 9 8. And if you want more, talk to me after. Mason's apron and it's Scottish and we leave you to figure out which Mason they're talking about. Um, and it's probably from the 1800s. And the second one is the oldest tune that we do and it's from the 1600s. However, it started out life in the classical world or the Baroque world. Um, and it's 
an ad adaptation of Pachelbel's Canon turned into a reel. And we discovered it, we figured it was, um, you know, something somebody did about 10 years ago. Uh, until Alana found it in a Scottish book from 1881. So um, they were doing lots of things then as well. Anyway, um, uh, if any of you got married to this particular, or to Canon, this is not the version you got married to. the Silver Hand, and the second one is called Dara Patrick's, and Dara Patrick's was written by a friend of ours named Gary Kieran, who's a fiddler in Ireland.
Thank you. They're still not dancing. We're going to do a couple of Irish tunes. The first one's called Moving Cloud. And um, it's sort of a standard. It's probably from the late 1800s to early 1900s. And the second one is modern, well, relatively modern, from the 1980s, um, from a band called uh, Stockton Wing in Ireland. And uh, two of the guys who were in the band were sitting in a bar, and one of them said to the other, this is actually true. Uh, um, so, um, what are we going to call the tune? And he said, well, you've got a golden stud earring, why not call it golden stud? So, moving cloud to golden stud.
off with one um, more set of tunes. Um, three tunes. Well, actually, you can explain. Uh, the first one is a modern tune called The Sofa. Uh, the second tune I learned from the playing of uh, The Fiddler of Liz Carroll. And the third tune is called The Green Fields of Glen Town. And it's also a modern tune written by a fiddler uh, who is from Ireland named Tommy Peoples. Um, so thank you again to Music and the Atrium and Andrew for having us. It was really a pleasure to be back. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. That was wonderful. Let's have one more round of applause for our fantastic performers today. Elena and Lee Klein. I think that was a wonderful way to pick off music in the age of live here at the Cancer Center. And this was just such a special day uh, for me. And I know many of you, this may be your first time seeing live music in a couple of years. Um, and so what a special experience for all of us to share here today. Uh, I can't stress enough how thrilled we are to be back bringing music live again to the Cancer Center and what a difference it makes to the atmosphere in this building. And I hope, for all of, I hope it brightens all of your days. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank the Tolba and Sullivan Spiral Family Foundation. Um, they've supported this program for almost 26 years now and what an incredible 26 years it's been. So thank you so much, Tolba. I'd also like to thank the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation that they've been so incredibly supportive for the whole lifetime of this program, but also especially for the last two years, um, helping us keep this going online. Uh, we did live stream today's concert, so I'd like to say thank you to everyone that joined us on the Foundation's YouTube live stream. Um, this was a little bit of an experiment coming back today, so we don't actually have any other acts booked, but I assure you there will be music next Wednesday. Uh, I just wanted to see how today would go first. So uh, if you want to know what's coming up next week, please follow the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation on Instagram. Um, I'm sure you can see it on Facebook as well. We'll also be displaying advertisements in the Cancer Center on the various screens throughout the building. Uh, but we look forward to seeing you next week and every Wednesday um, for more live music in the atrium. So thank you once again. Thank you, Elena and Lee. Uh, have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.